In this video, I'd like to show you how to transfer library elements from one library to another. I'm taking the example of moving a custom method, submethod, panel element, and hardware element made in Polyboard 6 that I would like to copy into Polyboard 7 new quick design libraries. Here we are in Polyboard 6, and I have set up a custom material called Compact. If I go to the library's panel material, we can see this material here called Compact 0180. I also have set up a custom hardware fitting. If I go to the library's fittings, we can see library fitting called Butt Hinge here. And I've also set up the submethods that go with this. So if I look at my material submethod here, I've got a submethod called Compact slash 0180. I also have a hardware fitting submethod called compact slash slash zero one zero and I also have a general manufacturing method called compact. Here I have opened Polybot 7 and Polybot 7 has been installed on my computer with the new Quick Design 7 libraries that don't contain the elements I had set up in Polybot 6. If I look at my panels libraries for instance we do not have a compact material. If I look at my hardware libraries over here, let's look at my fitting libraries, we do not have a hinge in our hardware library. So how do I add these elements that I had in Polyboard 6 libraries to my new Polyboard 7 libraries? Let's go back to Polyboard 6. To start, I'm going to open a new cabinet. I'm just going to click here, New Cabinet. It's come in with our quick design materials. But I'm going to apply the specific manufacturing method for my compact material. So I'm going to go to here, manufacturing method. I'm going to click on compact and I'm just going to click OK to apply the different sub methods that are contained in this general manufacturing method. Especially what interests me in this case is the material style compact and the fitting link compact that contains the hardware and the panel types. If I op open this cabinet up in the exploded view, I can see that the hardware has been applied to the edges of the cabinet. And if I click on the material, I can see that the cabinet is built of compact 0180 material. I'm now just going to save this particular cabinet to my hard disk. So I'm just going to click Save. And we're going to call this cabinet Compact. And I'm going to give it a number, just 0110. I'm just going to save it to my hard disk. Here we are back in Polyboard 7. And in Polyboard 7, now let's open the new cabinet, the one we made in Polyboard 6. So I'm just going to click here, Open. Go to my office desk and load Compact 010. And if I open it, we can see the hardware has appeared in it. And if I click on the Manufacturing Methods button here, we can see the Manufacturing Method, which we called Dash Compact, which is contained within the cabinet that, came, that was built with Polyboard 6 and its libraries. And we can see that the material style compact and the fitting links compact is contained as sub-methods within the general manufacturing methods. But this is actually marked at compact 010, meaning it's the copy that is inside this cabinet. To get it into my new Polyboard 7 libraries, I'm going to click on this button, Duplicate. It's now created a copy of that manufacturing method in my Polyboard 7 libraries. I just apply, nothing will happen because it's the same manufacturing method. If I open the Materials Sub-Methods Library by going into this button here, Material Styles, I can see the Compact Sub-Method has been added to the library. If I open the Fittings Links Library, I can see the same thing, and the Compact slash 010 Fittings Links Sub-Method has been also been added to the library. Note, however, that the hardware elements and their associated rules are displayed in red. This is to indicate that although the sub-methods are now copied into the library, the hardware and rules themselves are not yet in the library, but only present within the cabinet. If I select one of the panels on this cabinet, I can see that the material name Compact 0180 is also displayed in red, showing that the material is also not yet in the Polyboard 7 library. To copy the Compact 0180 panel into our library, I can click the panel name, and in the list of materials, 
if I scroll down to the bottom, there is a command called Restore. If I click Restore, the name of the panels will now pop up as Compact and will not be in red. And if I look at my panels materials libraries now, I can see that the Compact 0180 has been added to the panels materials library. If I open again the fittings links sub method, I can do the same thing to restore the fitting links. If I click on one of the fitting rules, I can see that the butt hinge fitting and the butt hinge rule is in red. If I click on this, I can now select restore at the bottom of the list. The butt hinge will now be displayed in black, showing that it is in the library. I can do the same for the rule, restore, and the rule will now be copied into the Polyboard 7 Quick Design Libraries. If I look now into my hardware library, fittings, I can see now butt hinges are present in this library. And if I look in my rules, you can see the butt hinge rule is also present in my library. Note that it's also possible to restore these elements and submethods directly from the submethods or individual fittings setup dialog boxes, which you will find here. So for an individual fitting, if I click on this panel here and I choose the left side, and I choose the fitting, you can see that we have the same thing as we had in the fittings sub method and the fittings links and the fitting rules are here and it's also possible to restore them if they are in red at this level here. So that's how you move or you copy elements, individual elements, sub methods and general manufacturing methods from one library and integrate them into another. Thank you for looking. Goodbye.